Hello and welcome. This is Ruth Hamilton and Nico's with me for a little bit today too. So um, thanks for joining me. I'm going to have a look at the Happy Hamper gift box die set from Tonic Studios. It's really, really lovely and it's quite a good size as well. I'll put the measurements down below there, but um, I've already got one made up. I'm just about to post it off. It's for a blog post, so you'll be able to see it. And I'll put the link for the blog post down there as well in the description. Um, but I really wanted to make another one because I didn't actually really want to part with my sample because I loved it. Anyhow, I'll show you the card that I've used for it. Um, I just thought that it was so bright and cheerful uh, that I needed to use something. So I've got clementine orange. I've got ivory white for the base. And I have picked out this Mariposa Moments 12 by 12 paper pack because I thought there was a beautiful butterfly in that that went so well with this orange colour. That's actually what gave me the idea for using the orange and cream together. And then I've got some five, sorry, some nine millimeter, um, yes, nine millimeter crafters ribbon, and this is ivory white, and that's for the handle. So we'll have a little look at the dies. There's the picture on the box, on the packet, sorry. And then whenever you open that up, you'll see that all the dies are here. But really handy thing this time is that when you open it up inside you'll find all the instructions and it's very very easy to follow but the main die here that's this outer one you can see it creates the base shape and i'll show you how that we put the two of those together and that just makes the the little hamper itself there you go so uh, these are the decorative details for the sides uh, the front and back and the sides and then this can be added onto the lid um, this also and then this is a little piece that can go onto the side and this will make little handles there are two or three different ways of finishing this one off so you can actually add a, this little handle or you can add a ribbon handle and this piece here I thought was ingenious that makes a little paper bead and I'll show you how to do that as well but if you want to have a look there's the lovely little hamper that I've already made and I think that little butterfly from the paper pad just goes really beautifully with that and it's really lovely and bright. There's the handle, the ribbon handle, where I've tied a nice bow on top and then the little paper beads there. And I've covered those with, oh, Nico thinks he would like those. Um, so I have covered those with crystal glaze. Here Nico, you can have that instead. So, I'll just set this one aside because I've got to post that off this afternoon. Uh, and then I'll, I'll start making another one and show you how that's done and maybe Nico will go and have a run around. You'll be able to see in the blog post how I have used these dies uh, to make the decorative panel but on the one that I'm going to make now in the video I'm going to use this die for the decoration but I'm not going to use the inner pieces along with that. So I've gone ahead and I have used this full main die that's this one and I've cut that out twice in cream card and I have that here that's the two pieces and those will make up the actual basket itself a little hamper and you just glue those two pieces together there and then bend up the sides but I'll show you how I'm doing that in a minute in the sped up version and I've then taken this die along with the Mariposa Moments paper pad and I've picked out some lovely blue paper from it with the beautiful flowers and butterfly and I have used that to cut out for here then I have used this die to cut out the piece for here and I've done that for both of them then I have taken this one and this is the piece for the lid I've cut that out in the cream as well and I have used the other die which fits inside that to cut out the piece for the decoration I'll go ahead and glue these together first and then what I'll do is glue the bases together like so.
those pieces together, what we need to do is connect them all. So I've taken two of this strap die, I've cut that out twice, and I have folded it over. So you'll see there are two little score lines close together there, and don't forget to just uh, bend that over on the, uh, both of those. Now what I like to do is, normally you would be putting these so that the tops are both showing, and because this is going to bend backwards this time, we're going to put the inside to the inside of this and that way you'll have the texture on both sides when this turns over. So there's a little line there and you just want to glue that on there. So this is the wrong side but this is the right side and then you'll just do that on the other one as well. So when you bend this up, this gives you the straps that hold the actual hamper together. So now we're just going to fold these over, just bend them slightly in. Actually what I did was I just took my bone folder and shaped that very, very gently, just like this, around there to give that easier to curl, to just make it a little easier to curl slightly. And then you want to line up both of those little holes there, the little slits together, like that. You're going to fold this in through both of them. So actually you could possibly just put it through one and then in through the other one. That will line them up. Bring it through both, the whole way through, and then you'll fold this piece over, tuck that in there, and bring it out through here and then that piece will fit up through the next part of the handle and I'm just going to do that on the other side. And on both of these then you want to put glue on this tab, fold that up and just press that tightly there and that will hold these together and then repeat that on the other side. So glue inside here, just on the tab, this part of the tab. Fold it up on the inside and press those together. And that way, there's your little baskets, the little hamper. This piece then will fit up through the, the lid I've taken this little die and I've cut that out twice in the cream card and I have glued that onto the little tabs on the lid and these then just fit through here and you can see then that that tab will just go straight back into the side there and I'm going to put a ribbon on the top so same with the other side and you can see then that the small tabs just fit neatly in there and on the other side. Now I have picked out some beautiful Craft Perfect ribbon. There is the lighter blue which is the arctic blue and then there's navy blazer as well um, just to make a lo lovely little handle with this. Um, I think both of them go with it, with it but the, the light blue looks nice and bright with it so I'll go ahead and make a little handle. butterflies. They're actually on the front of this as well but I want to cut a couple of them out. I'm actually going to cut three um, and just fussy cut around them and then I will add them onto the, the uh, top and the two sides of this little basket because I think the 3D part would just look lovely. <laughs> long die then makes the paper bead. So I've cut it out twice, I've gone ahead and already made one. So what you need to do is just put, leave a little gap at the top here where there's no glue and then spread glue 
or at least have some glue the full length of it after that. And you can use a knitting needle or a skewer or whatever. I'm just using a little uh, Nouveau paint brush, one of the very fine ones, and I'm going to roll that up. So what you need to remember here is just to keep the strip even so that the bead is even whenever you finish. That means you just go down the centre of it whenever you're rolling it up. It's as easy as that, but what do you want to do next? Well, what I want to do anyway is add some crystal clays onto this and that gives a lovely shine off it. So I'll just pop my lid back on here, pop, pop this back onto the knitting needle, not the knitting needle, the uh, paintbrush. And then I'm going to spread this on here. Now this is quite thin and runny so what I did was just put it on the whole way around like that. And you can spread that with a paintbrush or whatever. I use whatever, it's my finger. So just like this and you're getting a nice glaze the whole way around there. And you just coat that evenly. It seals in all those little bits of paper, the card or the paper, whatever you've used. That would actually be really nice in um, some of the patterned paper as well that was on that, but I thought I would just go for a nice plain one. So at this stage then you need to let that dry before you can thread some ribbon through it and tie it onto the side of the little hamper. So I just do that, leave them on there and set them aside to dry. Just prop them up and then whenever those have dried I will pop them off there and thread some ribbon through and attach them to the, the little hamper. There are the little beads tied on. Now I probably would have used finer ribbon but um, my finer ribbon was all finished so I just threaded some of that down through and tied a little knot and looped it on and as you can probably see then I decided I would use some of this. I think you can see that there. Get the shine off it. Yeah you can see it there. I used some of the crystal glaze and I put that on all of the butterflies the whole way around. So now I've got my lovely little happy hamper with the little beads and little raised up butterflies. And I hope you like that, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you do and you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love you to do that. I'd also love you to give the video a thumbs up. And don't forget, do let me know in the comments down below. Tell me what you think, um, so that I'm not just always talking to myself. It's nice to get some feedback as well down there. And. Um, I will add my links to anything that I've used and most of them, if not all, will be affiliate links. So I do get a little commission on that but it won't cost you any more and I do appreciate everybody who uses those links. So thank you very much and until the next time, I hope to see you again very soon. So thank you and bye bye.